Let me introduce our two presenters for this award, both members of the Nickel Committee. Marcus Hu is co-president of Strand Releasing, which is celebrating their 30th anniversary this year with retrospectives across the country. He resides in both Los Angeles and San Francisco, and he served six years on the Nickel Fellowships Committee. And Kirsten Kiwi Smith is a screenwriter and producer. She co-wrote the hit comedies Legally Blonde, 10 Things I Hate About You, She's the Man, and The House Bunny, among others. This is her sixth year on the Nickel Committee. Presenting the award to Aaron Chung are Marcus Hu and Kiwi Smith. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Oh, that was beautiful. That was so beautiful. We love this script. I know. We When we read this script, we sat together and... and like we, teenage girls. Yeah. And we were like comparing <laughs> notes and we said, oh my God, we just absolutely love this one. Yeah, we flipped out. We flipped yeah. out. Like we fell head first into this world and heart first. And um, these characters are so beautiful. And, um, you know, the relationship is complex and the writing is so poetic, Aaron. It's just gorgeous. Um, you know... Aaron just brilliantly captures uh, the naturalness and authenticity of, of teenage female voices. And um, what's crazy is he graduated from film school two years ago, and, and he has written five screenplays. This is his fifth screenplay. He's written across so many genres. He's written action, horror, sci-fi. He's written a high school comedy, which I personally cannot wait to read. Um, and uh, he's culminated, his work culminated in this screenplay. And we got to meet him for um, yesterday, which feels yeah. like a lifetime ago. At the luncheon. At the luncheon. And um, he reminded me that we'd actually met before because he was an intern a year ago for my manager. So we've already, we were, we're longtime friends. Um, <laughs> but uh, cut to now a year later, and he entered his very first screenwriting competition, The Nickel, and he won, um, which is so impressive. And it's so, it's so great. And, and uh, yesterday we got to hand him his, uh, to, we got to hold, hand him an Oscar, Oscar to hold. And we just, feel for the, like the first time, and we just have a feeling this is not going to be his last time. That wasn't his last time. That was only his first time holding an Oscar. And we, Aaron, just congratulations. We, we thank you for bringing all your, your poetry and artistry to, to this stage and, and to the community. We just can't wait to get to work with you and, and get to know you. And congratulations. And make, thank you for making such a great script about two girls who fall in love in yes. such a beautiful way. Yes. Please, Aaron. Come on up, Aaron. so many of you. Um, well, first of all, thank you, Kiwi and Marcus, for that very, very flattering introduction. Uh, thank you to uh, Wes, Rosa, Mandela, and Gita for rescuing my words. Wow. Um, thank you to the Academy, Jennifer, Joan, the entire committee, for this opportunity and for seeing something in me that I haven't seen yet. Um, and thank you to my Florida State family, my close friends, my colleagues, my mentors and teachers who have helped me and guided me to develop my voice and to make this script. And most of all, thank you to my family, my tireless mother, my resilient father, my supportive sister, and my amazing brother-in-law. Thank you so, so much for just everything. So before today, as I was preparing the speech, I was writing about who I am and why I chose to become a writer and why I chose to write this script. And it recently, it just felt off to me because that's not the reason why I wanted to write. I mean, I wanted to share my voice, but it's not just my voice, it's everyone's voice. And I want to connect everyone's problems and struggles and conflicts and show that we have a lot more in common than we believe. And I wrote Fable on Ashling, two characters, these two 
kids who had every right to not be together because they were so different. And I, and they just happened to find each other and fall in love. And through that, they've brought a little bit of hope in their crumbling world. And I know that sounds a little cheesy and it belongs in a Hallmark card, but I believe it rings a little true because not just storytellers, but like all of us people, we have this amazing superpower to empathize and connect and understand each other in ways that no other living creatures can. But we often don't use that power and instead we weaponize our experiences and our opinions and our intellect and our accomplishments to make others feel inferior and silence them. Which is just a shame because we all, we are all sharing this common goal, this one dream, which is to try and be better versions of ourselves than we were yesterday. So I stand before you today to make a promise that tomorrow or the day after that and the day after that, I will try and try to be a better person than you see here today. I will try to empathize. I will try to listen. I will try to speak up for others and give a voice to the voiceless and extend a helping hand to those who are in dire need of it. And I promise that I will try to be just a better role model. And I feel like a lot of us, we all should have that goal. And although we will all stumble and fall and make mistakes, trust me, I have made millions of them. And I regret and feel so ashamed for so many of them. But no matter what, it's, it's what we should do because it could bring a little bit of hope and love into our own crumbling world. So thank you so much. You are all wonderful, lovely, beautiful people. Thank you. <laughs>